Hi, I hope you are all doing great. Thanks for visiting the channel. Today I'm testing actually when I search on Google for free video editors as, as usually do and I have tested already plenty. There is one that I haven't tried before. It's called VSDC video editor and it comes as a pro version and a free version bundled with the video editor two other software one is a screen recorder that i'm going to test today as well as this video capture so there are three softwares in one let's try this video capture and then after that i will try the screen recorder and then put them all together in the vsdc video editor so let's try them out and see how they do when i started the screen recorder uh, when you hit like start recording it gives you like all these six uh, points where you can zoom into the part on the screen where you want it to record now it is actually a recording and you could be drawing too so if i click on the start drawing it will freeze the the cam for example there you go now it is frozen and i can uh, make any kind of drawing that i am interested in so that this is like uh, probably to highlight certain points it'll be really nice here you have different colors and you know you could clear also your recordings you can have kind of drawings the, the drawings that you are interested in for example here's a triangle and you can have a pencil as well so this is done for now okay so that's probably to highlight certain points in the recordings but you can technically you know open all these um, any kind of software for example here i can go to my places in google maps i can go to maps i can go see the olive distribution here as you can see here in, in google maps there are trees there so this kind of recording this is as far as Chrome is concerned. I can go to like LinkedIn or any other web page basically because I am I am now recording the whole screen. I can go to PowerPoint as well and then start recording the way I like. For example, here is a lecture that I recorded. I can easily go here and just do my PowerPoint presentation and that will be recording my screen. Basically, that's how it's going to be. So it's kind of nice to have a free screen recorder that i can use for a variety of purposes i can also have two shortcuts actually set one is to start and pause the recording and then you can also um, set another one for ending the recording you can click the stop button right here on the dialog box of the sdc free screen recorder so this is a good test and i think it should work I also set where the video is going to be saved. So I am now done with this testing and let's see how it goes. Okay, so now I am just, uh, you know, uh, like minimize the uh, recording uh, screen to um, only this portion of the screen. I could probably exit um, the application here. One of the disadvantages is that it records in AVI format. This takes huge amount of space. This is like you could see this. This is only two minutes and it's already 2.1 gigabytes. So that's quite a bit. But it's, uh, I don't know about the recorder, but we could probably try it and see how it goes. This is when you download it, VSDC video editor. You could probably search in Google. I will also have it in the link in the description be below. Um, this is the pro version and this is actually I'm using the free version now so uh, when you open it they are actually both some capability is disabled you could see you can start a new project you can create a slideshow from pictures and you can also import content to the uh, project you can do the video capture which we just uh, did on the screen and you could also of course screen capture so you could record from a webcam or you could record from the or record the screen itself and then here are some of the features and you can learn more about these features in youtube okay so we'll start a new project and then see how it goes we'll record this uh, in a video editor it's very simple it's actually similar to 
other uh, projects here you decide what you want to name yes DC probably is the best way to go this is the review so this is already set descriptions and all the characteristics of the video that I wanted or the features I could also have a template if, I, if you are interested and uh, that's it when you finish you're done and here is you drag and drop any media file you are interested in and that we're going to do these are all the you know you could right away do the uh, whatever you are interested in for example i already had two this is one file and this is the second file the screen recorder the first one so now this is the second one already so i can go for the any kind of transition in any any many there are many transitions here so uh, probably let's say i like um example here vibe center so you can see that uh, just too many of them right and then you can have diffuse you can have fade you can have page turn uh, you could have perspective you can see that like a pan and zoom type of thing so let's say page turn because this is kind of interesting so um, you know uh, we'll try this one i'll try the basic one so you can just probably drag it and drop it here and uh, there you go so um, you could add files you could add a fix to all of these um, uh, video clips you know and then uh, there are whole options here how to trim how to adjust your videos you can also have different styles here basically they are, these are filters in other um you know video editors it's right here for example here is a filler for example and you could probably try it here and see how it works for you so uh, that's how it is so let me do this and then I will come back with the output and um, once we are done with this you can apply settings and just save it right here it works like uh, other advanced video editors by having sprites and we have sub menus and within that each, each uh, you can see that each sprite each clip will be on its own and you can do overlapping you can do transitions um, here you have a whole variety of options you have scenes and so this is this are the basics anyone who has done any video editing will probably be familiar with all these options so all these options are here transparencies if you have the green screen you have background remover you could remove the background as you already know if you have green screens you could have smoke um, you can apply smoke to the video and then you can see here how it looks like so uh, there you so uh, it's really nice and cool uh, you could probably do a whole bunch of options this, this is not a review of the vsdc editor but it is just to show you what the bundle would look like for now that should be enough for for us download it explore it and if i find it interesting i'm going to do a full tutorial on how to use vsdc video editor but for now you have seen the video capture you have seen the other option so uh, that should be good enough for now take care and we'll see you next time don't forget to like subscribe and share this video good luck to you and we'll see you next time bye bye